نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم أما بعد قال الله تعالى في القرآن المجيد إن في خلق السماوات والأرض واختلاف الليل والنهار لآيات لأولي الألباب صدق الله العظيم uh, My dear viewers and friends uh, We're standing here on the shores of the Mediterranean uh, around the coast of Tunisia uh, and it's really amazing we've just seen the sun rise here uh, in, in Susa it's really amazing to see the, the powerful waves uh, and, and the soothing noise that they make the ebbing and the flowing of the tides uh, and, and the coming up of the sun uh, it, it's just you know it, it's something that makes you aware of the greatness of God, the greatness uh, of the mighty creator uh, and of course the smallness of human beings and I hope it puts us in our place uh, and, and, and not being arrogant, not being big-headed and haughty uh, and really recognizing that uh, you know how small we are like the uh, sand on which we are walking, like these grains of sand uh, and and the vastness of the sky all this is really a beautiful uh, lesson for us uh, to, to observe and, and this is why perhaps the Quran constantly repeats that you should look into the creation observe the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inna fi khalqi samawati wal ard the Quran says indeed in the creation of heavens and the earth and in the alternation of day and night there are signs for those who are ulul albab the ulul albab meaning uh, people who are intelligent people who use their brain uh, and who are these ya allah you know allah says alladhina yazkuruna allah qiyaman wa qu'udan wa ala junubihim wa yatafakkaruna fi khalqi samawati wal ard these are the people who remember their lord in every situation in every state that they are they are in touch with their lord because they know that there is a mighty creator who has put them here for a particular purpose and when they reflect on this open book that's what the universe is this is what we are witnessing here the greatness and the grandeur of our lord the creator and our own smallness and our dependence on him really and once you have that uh, you begin to put your faith in him you be begin to put trust in him and now you will have confidence now you will not be able, you will not you will not be suffering from the holua you know that depressive and distressing uh, and 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 knowing uh, problems and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says when they reflect on this beautiful creation the only words that come out of their mouth are rabbana ma khalaqta haza batil lord you haven't created this for, uh, useless and futile but for a purpose and that purpose is وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ That purpose is so that we may remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worship Him. Uh, my dear viewers, uh, the message was very simple that you know the Quran is the book of Allah, the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought to us through Jibreel and through our beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But this world in itself is an also an open and awesome uh, book as well, uh, you know, those are the ayate tanziliya and these are the ayate taqwiniya that we are witnessing. You know, may Allah help us to observe nature in a way, you know, that will uh, will open our eyes to the reality. But you know, you have something always in your uh, hands, that is the Quran. And I really urge you to uh, read our majestic Quran, uh, which will inshallah put you in touch, no doubt. You know with the almighty lord sitting in your own uh, in, in the comfort of your lounge in the comfort of your own home you will really feel something amazing about the power of allah may allah help us to be people who love the quran read the quran understand the quran jazakallah khair assalamu alaikum